Well, it, it's more a question that we need to go beyond our, our, our traditional communities. In trade, we've been used to dealing with other trade people. We understand each other, we talk the same language, and, and, and we've thought, well, we'll deal with the trade side of it, and you over there will deal with the environment side or the climate change side. And the climate change side has been the same thing. Climate change is already complicated enough. If you have to start mixing in trade concerns and all sorts of other considerations, it becomes almost impossible. And what I think we have to do is, is get used to the, the idea that, that there aren't any firm borders, there aren't any walls between trade and climate change. They overlap all over the place. Just like trade overlaps with virtually every environmental convention, and environment overlaps with financial policy, tax policy, all these others. So we've got to get used to operating in a world that, that's a great deal more complex than, than we first imagined. That's partly a habit, it's partly a cultural question, and partly learning to deal with complex issues. How do you break those down into component parts so that they can be dealt with without losing all the rest? And this is the challenge we're facing, and of course we're facing it at a time when the issues have just become extraordinarily critical. I mean, the, 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 acceptance that we're really facing an enormous challenge in the climate change area now is, is pretty widespread. The real question is, what do we do about it?